Today's hearing will focus on the important role of credit reports and what it means for consumers when errors occur. Credit reports can quite literally change lives. They are the deciding factor in determining whether individuals can obtain credit cards, mortgages, or car loans, as well as how much they will pay for those loans. Credit reports are also often used as part of non-credit decisions about consumers that are no less important, such as whether an individual can rent an apartment or even obtain a job. The credit reporting industry is also unique. Unlike most industries where consumers can walk away if they don't like the deal, most Americans are trapped and cannot avoid having a credit history and have no say as to whether or not their information is part of this system. Given the huge impact that credit reports have, it's imperative that credit reports are accurate, and if they aren't, that consumers can easily and successfully dispute errors in their credit reports. Brenda Campbell of Nixa, Missouri, who unfortunately could not be with us today, but provided written testimony. I ask unanimous consent that Ms. Campbell's statement be included in the hearing record. Ms. Campbell has also had a mixed file with the credit bureaus. They had placed information belonging to numerous other Brenda Campbells in her file, including multiple social security numbers. The real Ms. Campbell tried to correct these obvious mistakes using the credit bureau's dis dispute processes, but was unsuccessful. She had trouble obtaining credit, received calls from collection agencies, and at one point, with her hands shaking, received a notice of wage garnishment all because the wrong Brenda Campbell's information was in her file and no one would help her. She ultimately had to hire a lawyer and sue to get this fixed, but it took quite literally years and tens of thousands of dollars to do it. We are talking about two to 10 million people who have to turn to a dispute process that I think most of us have serious concerns about. We are talking about Judy Thomas and Brenda Campbell times millions. That is simply too many. What was really disconcerting about this is what they've clearly done is they've gone from marketing primarily freecreditreport.com, that's the company that's owned by Experian, I believe. They've gone from marketing that to now marketing free credit score to get around us telling them you can't do this anymore. You can't rip people off and act like you're giving them something free when you're not, when in reality they can really get it for free. What are we going to do about this? What do we need to do to shut this down? Because this is not what we wanted to have happen. We wanted everyone to have clear, disclosable information that they understood that they didn't have to pay anybody squat to get their credit report. 